Conditions at the Sewol sinking have greatly improved. Search and rescue operations can now move forward. Surviving members of the Sewol crew could face prosecution. A sharp, reckless turn seems to be the cause of the sinking. And the enthusiastic promoter of Korean sovereignty over Dokdo, singer Kim Jong Hoon, has opened an exhibition in Shanghai. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Wednesday, April 23rd. I'm Luke Clary. Conditions at the site of the Sewol sinking have substantially improved. Search and rescue operations continue as currents in the location are slowing down to their lowest level this month. The winds and waves around the accident site have calmed down. The waves are much lower today than yesterday and expected to remain under 0.5 meters high until tomorrow. 세상에 취한 이동성 고기압의 영향을 지속적으로 받을 것으로 예상되기 때문에 당분간 바람은 약할 것으로 전망됩니다. The water flow has also slowed down substantially. The difference between the ebb and flow of the tides is at the smallest point this month, so the currents have slowed down significantly. The flow speed at strongest point registered at 2.8 meters per second, but it will slow down to 1.6 meters per second for today and tomorrow. Weaker flows would allow rescuers to dive for longer periods of time. The flow speed of Mengol Straits would reach its lowest level tomorrow and gradually pick up speed again from Friday. The winds would grow stronger starting this Saturday, and rain is forecasted for the area between Saturday afternoon and Sunday. The search and rescue authorities should spur on their efforts today and tomorrow when the weather and current conditions are at their best. Compensation for the victims and their families is expected to be very high. The government may pay the damages first, then seek reimbursement from Chungheng and Marine Company, but there are concerns that the company may not have the funds. Former Simo Group Chairman Yu Byung Un's family owns at least 13 businesses in Korea. In addition to Chunghaejin Marine, there are Simo, which produces a popular squalene health supplement, and a mid-sized shipbuilding company called Chunheji, among others. The total sales of these companies amounted to roughly $356 million last year. The Seoul Regional Tax Office has launched special audits into four of these businesses. The tax probes are to find their hidden assets. The Yu family's overseas assets are also under investigation. The family owns multiple properties in the U.S., Canada and Europe. KBS alone has confirmed about 10 properties overseas, which amount to tens of millions of dollars. Also, assets titled to the company total roughly $1 billion. The Financial Supervisory Service and the Korea Customs Service have launched probes to see whether the money was sent overseas illegally to buy up these assets for the Yu family. The problem is that even if the hidden assets of the owner's family are discovered, the family cannot be held entirely responsible for compensating the victims of the ferry accident. 대주주라는 이유만으로 법적 책임을 묻기는 어렵습니다. 다만 대주주가 청해진 해운의 경영에 실질적으로 관여하였다는 증거가 확보된다면 법인과 공동으로 책임을 물을 수는 있습니다. The prosecutors are focusing their efforts on determining whether the Yu family had anything to do with the operation and management of Chunghejin Marine. The investigators are also looking into the allegation that Chunheji, the largest shareholder of Chunghejin Marine, had purchased millions of dollars worth of Yu Byung-un's photographs. Yu Byung-un, the owner of Chunghejin Marine Company, is believed to be a key member of a Christian sect known as the Saviorists. Many of the employees of the company were also members. KBS obtained this video of Yu byung An, actual owner of Chungyejin Marine Company, preaching in a church. He's a founder of the Protestant sect of Evangelical Baptist Church known as the Saverist. A former employee of the Mooring Company told KBS that most employees at Chungyejin were Saverists and followers of Yu. The source says captain of the sunken ferry, Yi jun also became a devout Saverist since he entered the company. Yi 
It was an open secret in the maritime community that Chung Ejin was deeply connected to the Saverist group. The company neither admitted to or denied the allegation. Followers of the Evangelical Baptists are known to be around 200,000. This sect was also suspected relating to a group suicide incident in 1987 when 32 people took their lives together. The sinking of the Sewol could come down to a reckless change in direction and problems with the body of the ship. All of the surviving members of the crew could be up for prosecution. Crew members who escaped the sunken ferry testify mistakes were made at the time of the accident when the ship was shifting direction. Investigators increasingly believe that a reckless shift in the navigation path may have brought about the disaster. Also to note is a statement by a navigation officer who said that as the ferry underwent extended construction, this could have damaged its restorative strength. The sailors also claim when the ship was tilting, they tried to adjust the water level in the ballast tanks as ordered by the captain, but that the move did not work. Based on such testimonies, investigators are expanding their probe into possible problems with the vessel itself. The probe team has summoned two officials from the Korea Register of Shipping, who had previously inspected the sailwell, including at the time of the construction. The team also says it's considering pressing charges on all surviving crew members who fled the ship regardless of their rank or role, as they demonstrated no rescue efforts for the passengers. Investigators argue that even if the captain told the crew to leave the ferry, the order itself was wrong and that it's still possible to penalize all sailors who left the ship before the passengers. Navigation records show no reason for the same wall to have taken such a sudden, sharp turn in the area of the accident. Experts are zeroing in on this fact to find out why the accident took place. On April 11th, five days before the tragedy, the Sewol arrived at Jeju Island after passing by the Mangol Straits and Pyeongpung Island. When the ferry was passing by Pyeongpung Island, the angle of its bow was changed smoothly from 136 degrees to 138, 140, and 144 degrees. Then the bow angle was maintained between 140 and 145 degrees until the ferry arrived at Jeju. On April 16th, the day of the disaster, the ship's bow angle was 131 degrees when it was in waters off Pyeongpung Island. The ferry's angle was changed to 135 degrees and then to 139 degrees. The sail moved for 36 seconds with its bow angle at 139 degrees. There was no reason for the sail to make a sharp turn in the area because all it had to do was to maintain its bow angle at around 145 degrees. But on the day of the accident, the sail's bow was turned at over 150 degrees. The sail eventually lost its balance and got out of control. The investigators are zeroing in on why the ferry made a sharp turn and sank. The government has been conducting emergency drills for 10 years in its efforts to make Korea a safer country, but preparations for maritime accidents were proven insufficient by recent events. In an earthquake, children quickly take shelter under the table. All ministries have been taking part in the government-organized mock disaster drills for 10 years now. The emergency exercises included scenarios for catastrophes such as earthquakes, tsunami, fire, subway accident, and building collapse. But the plan for the sinking of passenger ship wasn't prepared. A nationwide disaster management system was put in place since the Disaster Management Act was legislated in 2003. But sinking accidents, including large passenger ships, are not included in the list of major disasters. 
The Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries, in charge of all ocean-related matters, came up with the Maritime Action Manual in just last June for the first time. The ministry had been abolished by President Lee Myung-bak, but was reinstated when President Park Geun-hye came into office. 국가 관리하는 표준 매뉴얼이 육상 재난인 경우로 국한이 돼 있고 해상권 하나도 없어요. 그건 다 해수부에다 맡겨 놓은 거지. There was a manual, but no mock training had taken place. It's not surprising that everything was in chaos once a catastrophic event occurred. 선박 충돌 사고 관련해서 그 운영을 안 했고 해양 오염 사고를 좀 했고 그 예객선 사고 그 가상에서 했는지는 제가 잘 모르겠습니다. The government has revised the Disaster Management Act 25 times. But such administrative actions have proven to be useless in actual cases, showing how unprepared and unrealistic government measures can be. In light of the unorganized and inefficient management of the ferry disaster, the government has been criticized for failing to establish a well-functioning disaster management body and for lack of experience within the organization that exists. In January 2013, the Park Geun-hye administration renamed the Ministry of Public Administration and Security to the Ministry of Security and Public Administration. It was meant to put safety above all else. 국민 안전과 경제 부흥을 실현하기 위한 수단으로서 전문성과 통합성을 강조한다. The existing Disaster and Safety Management Office was expanded to Security Management Headquarters, and the Public Safety Policy Bureau was newly established. The problem is that there were not enough follow-up measures to enhance these offices' expertise on safety and disaster management. Only 4% of the Ministry of Security and Public Administration's budget and 10% of the ministry employees are allocated to public safety-related jobs. More than half of the top departmental officials overseeing public safety are administrative employees with no expertise in disaster management. The second in command of the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures Headquarters, which was activated immediately after the accident, was assumed not by the head of the National Emergency Management Agency, an expert in emergency measures, but by the Vice Minister of Security and Public Administration. The law was revised last February to have the National Emergency Management Agency oversee only natural disasters, while the Ministry of Security and Public Administration take charge of disasters caused by human error. 안전이 최우선이라고 해놓고는 안전은 제2로 밀려버렸지 않습니까? 그나마 그걸 관리하시는 인원들을 보면 전부 행정직. Although the government had said that public safety was its top priority, the ferry catastrophe demonstrated that the government is sadly incompetent in its safety management capabilities. Some families of the ferry sinking victims have requested an autopsy. They want to know whether rescue could have been possible and for how long. Some family members of the sunken ferry victims will seek to confirm the cause of death through autopsy. This is to determine whether government rescue and response measures were appropriate. What they want to know is that whether their loved ones died from either drowning, hypothermia or suffocation. If the suffocation was the cause, this means the victims were placed in air pockets and family members will hold the government responsible for delayed rescue efforts. Then is it possible to determine the cause of death through autopsy? This can be done if the victims drowned while they were conscious. Water would have filled up their lungs and bubbles would have formed. Death from hyperthermia may also appear similar to drowning as victims can still breathe in water while unconscious. But there's a difference. 이미 의식을 잃고 그리고 호흡 운동이 약해져 있기 때문에 비록 어, 익사를 하더라도 들이마신 물의 양이 적고 그리고 거품이 생기는 현상이 현격하게 적습니다. The issue at hand is death by suffocation. Victims could have taken in water while they were going unconscious. The case of suffocation can be difficult to tell from drowning or hypothermia. Even an autopsy may not be able to determine this. Authorities will receive applications from families asking for an autopsy and will conduct the procedure with family members present if necessary. The parents of the students who were rescued from the sunken ferry disaster issued a statement to the public. 
Against all odds, there's still hope among these parents that the missing could be safe. The parents of the students who had survived the ferry disaster have made a stand. Their joy of having their kids back was short-lived when they thought of the other children remaining in the ice-cold sea. They called on the government and civic sector to use all available assets for the swift rescue of those still missing. <laughs> The parents also asked the media to stop their competitive and insensitive reporting and to refrain from disregarding the pain felt by the victims and survivors alike. The father reading the statement eventually sheds a tear. Other fathers and mothers watching also tear up. They earnestly wish for a miracle, believing that whether those aboard the ship survived or not, all the children should be protected and cared for. Singer Kim Jong-hoon is well known for his enthusiasm for Korea's sovereignty over the Dokdo Islets. The singer has opened an exhibition in Shanghai. Let's take a look. A performance is held in front of a replica of the Dokdo Islets. This art show was organized by singer Kim Jong-hoon in Shanghai. Kim is known for his activities to protect Korea's sovereignty over Dokdo. The exhibition features photos and video materials about Dokdo and former comfort women of the Japanese army. It has a special meaning because it has strengthened collaboration between Korea and China in denouncing Japan's historical distortions. Through this culture exchange, the two nations shared their historical wounds and bolstered international cooperations. It was a small-scale event, but it sent a strong message. The materials on comfort women were presented by the National Museum of Korean Contemporary History and the Comfort Women Research Center at the Shanghai Normal University. The exhibition will run through April 26th. And that's it for this edition of News Today. We'll see you again at the same time tomorrow. Have a great day.